That's gonna be a hit. But it doesn't have a melody. Well, I'm kind of counting on you for that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to Pop Dust Presents. We're here once again with the amazing, super talented, lovely Caroline Jones. Thank you so much. Uh, it's good to be back. Yeah, uh, it's been almost a year. Mm -hmm. Are you still doing the, the music thing? <laughs> I am. I have an EP coming out next Friday. It's called Chase and Me. And a six-song EP. I uh, wrote all the songs except one that um, my mentor Jimmy Buffett wrote for me with Mac McAnally and co-produced it with Rick Wake. So I'm very proud of it. That's absolutely amazing. Um, tell us about the EP. Jimmy's been a mentor of mine for a few years, Mac even longer. And I owe them so much in terms of opportunities that they've given me over the course of my career, um, presenting me to their audiences. And Jimmy gave me a distribution deal for my first record, Bare Feet, which we talked about last time. And um, took me on tour. And so they wrote me this song called Gulf Coast Girl for me to sing, like specifically with me in mind, which is just such a huge honor um, and privilege. And uh, it's kind of like a reggae beachy inspired song about the Gulf Coast of America where they've spent a lot of time and um, they're both from there. So it was really fun. And if you haven't seen the video, you should go check it out because it's filmed in Gulf Shores, Alabama. It's beautiful and it's super summery. That's super cool. And you said there's a video out now for Gulf Coast Girl? Yeah, there's a video for Gulf Coast Girl and there's a video for Chase and Me, which is the single um, and the title track. And um, I'm really proud of that video. We made it in Big Sur and in Zion National Park, Utah, which is beautiful. And there's also a new remix of the song Tough Guys, which is a staple of our live show. Um, and we re-recorded a remix of it with a harmonica breakdown and bass solos and all kinds of fun stuff. It's basically the version we do live, and it's similar to the version we did on Jimmy Fallon when I made my I was, late night. I was just going to say, you recently performed that on Jimmy Fallon, right? Yeah, that was a really special milestone for our whole crew and our whole team because we're like a family and we're like a startup and we're independent and we're so proud of what we do so those milestones are really important to us and now you're on pop dust so you've come yeah, a long way it, it, it just keeps i don't know where we can go from here no disrespect to him but yeah this is this is you know okay well it's good to know that <laughs> the buck stops here it's all what well, you decline. know what you know what? we'll do this every year though we'll get together like thanksgiving but is it like a new peak every year yes or it's like every one? year it just gets way better <laughs> okay okay a right big deal. yeah like last course. time that you were here it was like i think it was in black and white and it was, <laughs> it was, like it was very low quality yeah, yeah, yeah exactly we had no idea what we were doing it's been nearly a year you were finishing this ep what are some of the the highlights you know your favorite parts of of the last year and then follow up what are some of the things that you're looking most forward to in the year to come well it's kind of too early for the year to come like i'm just looking forward to next week when my ep comes out um and for the next few months i'm opening for trisha yearwood which will be really fun um she's one of my vocal heroes for sure and a great businesswoman and entrepreneur um in terms of highlights of this year i mean we got to go out with kenny chesney which is really special he's been a hero of mine and anyone who knows anything about country music knows that a kenny tour is like a huge deal and kind of um he's one of the biggest touring acts in, in country history um you know, he's on like the, you can count him on one hand kind of thing. And um, so that was great. Making my late night TV debut on Jimmy Fallon was great. Coming out with this EP. And we're still touring with Zach Brown Band, which we got to do this summer, which is also um, just always a privilege and always an honor and, and so much fun. Do you think that all these people that you've worked with or toured with, um, can you hear... Are they influences on the album? And speaking of actually, are there any features on the album? Because we know that Jimmy and Mac wrote you know, golf coast. Yeah, girl, they, and they feature on the song with Kenny Chesney and Lucas Nelson. So it's a pretty heavy hitter list. I'm really, really blessed and um kind of it's always kind of pinch me when I see their names next to mine and, and know that they took the time and lent their talents to my song. I mean it's Are they in the video? Huge, yeah, Jimmy is. You can see him like towards the end. Keep your keep your eyes peeled. Was it mostly recorded in Nashville? Because that's no, where you're mostly based, recorded right? in Florida. We okay. have a production team down in Florida. Some of it was recorded in Nashville, so we're kind of back and forth. Are you going back and forth with producers and kind of writing in the studio, or you've kind of like honed in on it on the road and then you? Yeah, the knock latter. It out? Usually it's the latter. I'll write a song, we'll play it on the road, and then Rick and I will produce it together in the studio. Um, but it's always a process. Production is always um, 
a whole different thing than playing live, you know, because you can really hone in on parts and sounds and um, the footprint of a mix and, and the landscape of the production. So, and I like to play a lot of the instruments in my production. So it takes a while to layer and find the balance and, but it's really fun. I love producing. What other, what other instruments do you play? Because you're so good on guitar that it makes, it makes me angry. Thanks. So now, <laughs> now you're, now you're telling me you play others as well. Yeah. I play guitar, um, piano, harmonica, dobro, banjo, and a tiny bit of mandolin. Like I kind of cheat on the mandolin, but it always works in our songs for some reason. Like we pick up. What What is the, the tip to cheating on mandolin? Well, I just tune it in an open tuning or like I tune it like a guitar. So I don't, a uh, mandolin is tuned in fifths, like a violin. And I just don't know the chords that well. I know it's an upside down guitar. I can play like three chords on it. But if I need to play like a line or a part, which is usually what it ends up being, I'll just tune it so that, um, it's intuitive to play and it just has a, a very unique sound. Well, you heard it here first, mandolin heads. That's uh, that's the tip. That's yeah, the, the mandolin heads don't need my tips. Believe me, they're like very ashamed right now <laughs> based on what I just said. But that's super impressive. Obviously, your sound is kind of like country and American and pop. Are there any moments on the EP or any music that you've made? Maybe it's not even on the EP that would really surprise people. I mean, Very other different. than my gangster rap record, I can't think of anything I, like off the top of my head. Can we please hear that? Can we hear some uh, of that? Like no, I mean, I really love dance music. I'm like interested in making more dance music. I just don't know enough yet to like make it by myself in a production. But I love dance music. I love electronic music. Those elements are all in my music. Rock, I mean, you can hear a lot of those elements in Tough Guys. We almost always have power chords like under our productions. And dance music, I can't wait for that. Yeah, no, it. I really love, I mean, on my first record, I did a song called The Difference, which is kind of like a country dance record. Um, So I'd love to do, play like more with that. Square dancing? No. Have you, <laughs> have you done square dancing? Um, I think I, I have I can't, actually before. I don't think I have. And let's produce a dance record. I think I think that's I the next that. step. Let's do it. We'll do it. We'll do like a pop disc live where like we'll make a beat <laughs> and everything. <laughs> that's going to be a hit. But it doesn't have a melody. Well, I'm kind of counting on you for that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, don't leave me. Don't leave all the work up to me. I mean, come on. I came up with a uh, beat. Yeah, we'll do it. All awesome. Right. All right. Stay tuned for that. If you want to hear that song, hit like now. Subscribe. Tweet. Unsubscribe. Resubscribe. And then uh, comment. Maybe buy my EP too. And then, and then, yeah, and buy, buy her EP also. <laughs> Chasing me. Is it Chasen? Chasen with an apostrophe. No G. No. Chasing me. You can't be like, chasing me. Annunciation is not cool. Not in country music. Yeah. No. Nor in hip hop. You're right. You're right. That's a commonality. Yeah, that's true. Do you want to do like an old town road type thing? No. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Are you asking me if I like want to do that with my music or I want to sing it right now? Either. Now that I think about it. But which one were you? Asking? I was thinking of that, but with your music, because you're talking about how you're no, interested not in it. Really, I, I'm not like a big trap person. I'm more. I, I I prefer dance music. I think. Okay. I'm not like a big like beats person with a Z. You know, I really like the syncopation of hip hop. That's what I'm really interested in, like the phrasing, you know, the vocal phrasing. Well, I can't wait for some Caroline Jones hip hop and rap. The EP is out today. Chasing me, Caroline Jones. Uh, thank, thank you, you so from much. everybody at Pop Dust. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Great Thanks to see for you having again. me. Likewise. Thank <laughs> you.